mm, 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 mm. Y'all saw that Mike Tyson fight? It low key was terrible, but um, that's random. What's up, 1003 family? Thanks for checking out another episode here on the channel. It's Bishop back at you again with another episode here on the channel. Look, news that's taken the sports card world by storm is that PSA's parent company, Collector's Universe, has been sold at the price point of $700 million. So what we're gonna do today is kind of talk about that and what might be some of the implications down the road for it. So let's get into it. Here we have an article right here, Sports Card, uh, excuse me, Sports Collectors Daily says, PSA parent company agrees to $700 million buyout offer. Collectors Universe parent company of PSA is being sold to an investor group led by entrepreneur and sports car collector, Nat Turner, for a I had to pause right there. I ain't gonna lie, like the first time I read his name, oh, and I've heard of him, I actually follow him on Instagram, like all of us probably do. I was like, why is his name Nat Turner? Because as we all know that Nat Turner is a notorious slave that rebelled uh, back in the day. Uh, and so I was kind of curious as where his name came from. Maybe his parents named him Nat Turner and that really is his name. I don't know. Some of y'all let me know. I just had a question about that, but let's keep going. Nat Turner for approximately $700 million. D1 Capital Partners LP and Cohen Private Ventures LLC will acquire all of the company's outstanding shares of common stock for $75.25 per share in cash. Cohen Private Ventures is, o is overseen, who wrote the article? Is overseen, is oversees certain family office activities for and invest capital on behalf of Steve A. Cohen and his family. Cohen is the new is the new owner of the New York Mets. So ultimately we have some big money going on here. If I'm not mistaken, I believe Nat Turner is actually an entrepreneur. And I think the article gets into that as well. He's made his money from flipping different businesses, uh, businesses in X, Y, and Z. So uh, anyways, let's keep on moving. The move means PSA will move from being a publicly owned company to a private entity. Interesting. Joe Orlando, president and CEO of Collectors Universe, will continue to lead Collectors Universe, which will retain its headquarters in Santa Ana, California. After careful consideration, we are pleased to have reached an agreement that reflects the remarkable value creation Collectors Universe has achieved through its consistent execution through these challenging times, said AJ Burt Moyer, chairman of the Collectors Universe board of directors. This transaction will deliver an immediate cash premium to our shareholders and create exciting opportunities for our employees, collectors, and dealers around the world. So ultimately, everyone that had stock or owned stock within Collectors Universe is going to be bought out at a premium. So essentially, they're going to make more money than what they actually currently hold within the stock. Not a bad deal if you actually hold a good portion of, um, as the NASDAQ ticker says, CLCT uh, moving forward. So Turner is a 34 year old tech entrepreneur and angel investor known for buying and selling companies for big profits. Interesting. In 2018, he sold Flatiron Health, a data science software company for approximately $2 billion. An avid collector of high-end basketball cards, he is expect, which he, he does have a, some fire on his Instagram account. He is expected to take on an active role in directing the company's future. And that right there is super exciting because now we have someone that is engaged in the hobby that can speak upon our behalf when it comes to the ins and outs of PSA and some of the things that they have going on. We can talk about that a little bit later. The surge in collected interest in recent years has resulted in a huge increase in submissions of trading cards at PSA. PSA, I got cars there right now, with the company facing months, months long backlogs despite hiring dozens of new year, uh, new workers this year alone. Competitors SGC and Beckett are also dealing with record levels of business and a fourth company will enter the fray within weeks when Certified Collectors Group launches its trading car division. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, CCG, we've heard of them. I think so. PSA's revenue growth has been explosive, but it's clear from the deal that Turner's group believes the market won't be slowing down anytime soon. And when you look at purchases like this, you can kind of assume that when big money begins to slosh back and forth like this, there is something brewing underneath. When you have a company being bought for $700 million, I think that tips off to other people that there's something taking shape and being shifted in collecting, in memorabilia, in sports, cards, all those different things. So I think we have to be uh, you know, kind of aware of that. Uh, and as we see, Joe Orlando is going to continue to be 
apparently the um, CEO or front runner or the person that's going to oversee PSA. So collecting sports cards and connecting with like-minded hobbyists has been a lifelong passion, uh, passion says Turner. I have tremendous respect for the high quality services Collectors Universe provides and the leadership position is talented team led by Joe, Joe Orlando has built. We are committed to bringing the resources and expertise necessary to expand the company's operational capacity and technological capabilities while enhancing the accuracy and consistency for which Collectors Universe is known. And so we continue to go down the article talks about just the amount of money uh, that is bought for, et cetera, et cetera. But this is some interesting news, interesting news. And now we have someone that is uh, one of our own, Nat Turner essentially is going to be having his hand directly in the fray of what goes on with an operation specifically for us in the sports car market, PSA. I think that's a pretty bullish thing that's taking place because it's showing that not only is he bringing some level of like a technological background, but he is bringing his own passion, which is sports cars, into the operational side, potentially of what PSA guys uh, has going on. Like I said earlier, I think it's good news. One reason being is because there's a like when you have an acquisition of a company for seven hundred million dollars, that kind of tips off to maybe some other investors, maybe some other funds, et cetera, et cetera, that something is happening in the sports car memorabilia market. And that could essentially bring about all different types and levels of capital into the market as a whole, which could just ultimately drive revenue X, Y, and Z. So I think it's pretty exciting to hear news like this. I also wonder if there are any type of downturns. I know specifically we talk about this this backlog, for instance, right? So PSA has this million, uh, million car backlog that's been sitting there for what, maybe the past year. One thing I think is interesting is that if Nat Turner gets to a place where he can maybe expedite the processes operationally at PSA grading, and or if he's able to integrate some level of AI or some level of robotics or scanning system to grade cards, that can speed up the process. But if that were to happen, what happens when you have a backlog of maybe a million cards hitting the market all at once? Like that would potentially have a dampening effect, maybe on the short term for sports cards. On the long term, I think that would be amazing because as we all know, one of the most frustrating aspects in grading in totality is having to wait six to eight months to get your cards back. So I think it's good on one end that we have someone that's gonna vouch and speak for us within the hobby to be able to go to, uh, and be able to be seen on the back end of PSA and give insight, clarity, and really get things moving towards in the, in the right direction. But I just also have questions if there will be any type of uh, negative ramifications if it happens. And if there are, I'm pretty sure any negative ramifications are gonna be heavily, heavily outweighed by the positives. But regardless, I think this is good news. Something else I actually think about is, hey, Nat Turner is notorious for taking businesses, building them up, and then selling them. I wonder what would happen if he is able to get Collector's Universe to a position where its evaluation grows to be two billion, maybe 1.9 billion, five, 10 years down the road. And if he eventually would be interested, he and his partners, of course, would be interested in maybe IPOing again, maybe going public again, what that would mean. I don't know, all kind of questions are going about. I think this is exciting news for the hobby. I think it's a big deal that this is happening. And uh, something I think that we can all look forward to is to see and keep an ear and eye out for what this means for us as we look to send in cars to get graded. And hopefully that's gonna expedite the process for us all. So with that said, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What are some positives that you see taking place with this acquisition? Maybe what are some negatives that you think may take place from this acquisition? We'd love to hear what you think. And with that said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.